Hey, welcome back for another D-Light. And today we are going to be working on a nice juicy hip flow. So it's gonna open up your hips, gonna loosen all those things up in there, probably some little, uh, some little, not so little, but some hamstrings as well. So with that said, let's just get started in child's pose. So make your way there. Big toes touch, knees wide, send your hips to your heels. Take your pinky fingers to the edges of your mat. Take a really nice deep breath in, fill the space between the shoulder blades. Let your back body rise, open and expand. And then exhale, press down. Deep breath in. Big breath out. When you're ready, round and curl. Tuck your toes, let's go back, down dog. So start to work it out. Bend one knee, straighten the other. Inhale lifts you high to your tiptoes. Exhale melts you down through one heel. And really trying to not so much just get the heel down with a rounded spine, but to really roll and uncurl that low back. So heels don't even have to touch the floor. And I find I'm, I am hypermobile. And I find even for myself, keeping the knees bent gives you a greater range of motion. You get a deeper stretch with a little bit of a bent knee. We press forward, high plank, and hold. Three, charge it up, wake everything up. Two, good. We go back, down dog. Walk your hands to meet your feet, back edge of your mat. Let's just take a forward fold here. Any arm variation that you like. It can be ragdoll, it can be behind your head, chin to chest, long neck. It can be hands interlaced behind your back, fist falling. Giving into gravity. Hands come down to the floor, halfway lift. So you're either pressing away from the ground, fingertips, or you come up to your shins, make a long spine, squeeze the shoulder blades, engage the core, belly to spine. Fold forward. Good again, halfway lift. Nice, exhale, fold. And then walk yourself out, back to down dog. High plank and pause, hold, three, two good go back down dog take the right leg up to the sky good bend the top knee open up your hip every inhale knee goes higher every exhale foot falls closer towards that left bum cheek and try not to keep those shoulders try to keep your shoulders square try not to have them off off kilter we're going to step the right foot to the inside in between the hands, drop the back knee down. We're staying here for a second, so let your chest rest on the right thigh. We're getting into that front of the left leg, left side hip flexor. And softening in, opening it up gradually. And then both hands come on top of your right knee. Press away from that right knee. Curl your tailbone under and lean back, deepening that stretch to the front of that left side hip flexor. Keep that sensation without having to apply that pressure. So create it, squeezing the right heel back, the left knee forward, lengthening up and out of the low belly, pubic bone to belly button, long low back. Inhale your hands up. So we're not all the way down here, it's very active. You should feel this through the left side. We open up to face the right side of the mat. So right hand goes back, left hand goes forward. You can stay here or drop the hand back and exalt. Keep that sensation tailbone under press out of the front heel good left hand comes down to the floor pick up the back knee now we're switching hips we're gonna get into the right outer right hip so you drop that left heel down to the left turn the right toes out to the right you start here you start to work your way down so it's not just about dropping that left hip but rotating that left hip underneath you nice three you can move this hand if you need to two Skandasana, back of the mat. Bend the left knee. You'll be anywhere from here all the way down low. Nice work. Three, 
keep that leg active and on. Press the heel down and try to pull it back towards you. Two. Good. Come back to the front of your mat. Drop your back knee down. Shift the weight back and flex. Half split. Roll your sit bones high. Melt your heart low. So keep it in the hamstring for now. Sit bones high. And as always, I prefer a bent knee and a long spine rather than locked knee, rounded spine. Drop your toes open to the right, press your hips to the left. Slowly come back into center, bend forward into this right knee, and let's step back to down dog. Take a second, pedal it out. Deep breath in, big breath out to draw back. Let's press forward, high plank hold. Three, two, good. Slide back, down dog. Take the left leg up as you inhale. Bend the top knee, open up your hip. 